Hey guys, and welcome back to Pete Surferu. We've got a great story today. We've got James here from New South Wales Fire and Rescue. Yep. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Mate, now I've just been checking out some of the practice you guys yep. do. Yep. Hard work. Now we take you for granted, you come out and do your stuff to houses and yep. buyers yep. and all different sort of things. Now, now what do you actually sort of do? Because people out there just take you for granted that you do these things, but behind the scenes, mate, lots of training. Lots of training. 95% of our work isn't dealing with fires. It's dealing with training and going out and doing stuff, meeting people, and explaining what we do and how we do things. Today we're installing a new type of rope system into the local fire brigade. Um, it's a two rope system, so it's a lot safer and a lot more flexible than the old ropes. It's sort of modern technology catching up with old systems. So it's all about safety for us as well as dealing with the public. Now, you go to all different um, stations throughout New South Wales yep. teaching um, the guys their new techniques and, and new ropes and all the mm -hmm. sort of things that you have. We have over 300 fire stations across New South Wales, so our deal is to go out and train them, install a new gear, and as part of continue ongoing training. How far as uh, fitness goes for, for this, mate? You have to be very fit mm -hmm. or can uh, you, you, need a, you need a certain level of fitness. Okay, we do a shuttle run as well as other uh, I think I'll finish it, physical IQ tests. All the information's there on the website, but it is fairly involved. Can you imagine, you know, we've got to carry big ladder burning buildings as part of what we're doing. It's what everyone expects that people have a certain level of fitness. You don't need to be a big giant anymore. You know, we have a lot of women in the job, always encouraging women to join the job. So we're open to everyone to come and have a go. It's kind of more an attitude you there. If you want to help people and get in and help the community, that's what we're all about. As far as rescues now, what are your basic forms that you go out to? Um, it depends on the area and how, how it's all scheduled yep. and stuff. So with the local arrangement stuff, with um, a lot of areas we have a, um, a primary rescue unit, so we'll go to push all the rescues that they've done with uh, um, people or domestic animals. We'll go out and rescue cats and grains. Okay, so and, and animals, right? Yeah, we do animals, domestic animals. But we, yes. won't, we do go to steaks and stuff to rescue from the public, yep, but you know, generally horses, cattle, um, domestic animals get them out of harm. Now we do, again, all across the state, some state, some areas don't have a rescue station. Um, so Tweed Heads will cover a certain area and Kingscliff is in a rescue station. But they'll still go. Every, every fire station will turn up. They have a certain level of training. Primary and secondary rescues have a higher level of training, but every single fire station is a rescue, rescue trainer to a certain level. Mate, it's great speaking to you now. Yeah. Life-saving, the police and of course you guys, yeah. um, all behind the scenes and getting out there and helping Ooh. Australians out there, mate. Yeah. It's a pleasure yeah. chatting to you, mate. Anytime. And uh, good, luck, good luck out there, mate, and I hope it all goes well for you. No worries, thank you very much. So, see you later, guys. Cool.